One of the things that I found most fascinating in my travels is going to South Korea. And when we got there, it's amazing the technology in South Korea, uh, the amount of wealth and prosperity that they have for an Asian country, considering that in the, I think in the 1950s, they were one of the poorest countries in the entire world. Yep. And the difference between them and North Korea, apparently you can see it from space. I'm not 100% sure that that's true, but the difference between them and North Korea is just completely and utterly day and night, literally. So, um, why do you think it is that South Korea is so much richer than North Korea? So first, you can absolutely see it from space. Yeah, you, can, you can see these satellite photographs at night, and North Korea, the whole place is dark. There's barely any lights. And South Korea, particularly around Seoul, but other parts of South Korea, all lit up, right? So half of the peninsula is all lit up. Half of the peninsula is completely dark. Um, and the reason is simple. South Korea has embraced markets, not pure markets, not capitalism the way I would want it, but some capitalism, some freedom, property rights, respect, uh, uh, protections, uh, contracts, respect contracts. Individuals can do what they want. They can uh, pursue whatever career they want. They can consume what they want. They can live where they want. Uh, they can work as hard as they want or not. Uh, and, and of course, uh, the, the way they get paid is going to reflect that. So uh, basically, South Korea is a free country. North Korea is not. Free countries generate wealth. Unfree countries do not. Uh, so uh, South Korea is rich because it's embraced some elements of capitalism that have led uh, it towards freedom and towards wealth generation. North Korea is basically uh, socialist, authoritarian. There's no freedom, zero individual rights, zero property rights, zero contracts, and therefore it's dirt poor.